Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I do my everyday natural makeup. And here it is. If you want to see how I got it, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with my First Aid Beauty Coconut Primer. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC foundation, and this is the Next to Nothing foundation, so it's pretty sheer, and this is in the shade Light Plus. I use about three pumps of it just to get enough coverage, even though you're not supposed to because it's kind of sheer, but then I just go ahead and dot that in my face. And it does have a really nice, like, glowy finish, kind of radiant. So, it's perfect for like a natural, like no makeup, makeup kind of look. And then I just go in with my Real Technique sponge and blend it all in. I really like this foundation because it really lets your skin like peek through and evens out your skin tone. And just blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm gonna go in with my next star circle corrector to brighten up my under eyes. Whenever I wear makeup, no matter what I do, I do like to correct my circles and make sure they're not peeking through. Whether it's like full on full face or natural makeup, I do like to cover them up. And take my finger. And I'm gonna blend that in with my sponge again. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, it is a pretty glowy foundation. It looks really nice. Next I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers. And this one that I'm using is in the shade Beige. I'm sorry, Light Medium Beige. I'm gonna pop that in. And I'm only gonna add a tiny bit of the lighter one. Just a little bit. I'm gonna blend that in. I'm still trying to figure it out like a good lighting setup for my videos. So just bear with me. I think this is looking pretty decent, but we'll see how it looks when I actually look at it on my laptop. Next, I'm going in with my Babylon Fit Me Powder to set my under eyes. There we go. To set the areas where I'm going to apply bronzer and blush, I'm going to go in with my Essence All About Matte Powder. Just a light hand so that my powders on top can blend easier. So I'm just applying where I would typically apply, apply other powders. Because I still want to keep the glowy finish from the foundation, so I don't want that to be too matte. We're not doing any contouring today, I'm just going to go in with my bronzer and this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And this is in the shade Sunny. 
I'm gonna go in with this, my little fluffy brush. Just step a little bit. And this one can look a little bit orange on me sometimes, but we're just gonna go with it. I do like to define a little bit with bronzer, but not too harshly, and then just kind of blend it in. A little bit on the other side. And that's how it's looking so far. I'm going to take just a little bit by my jawline. Okay. And it just brings back some color to the skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my highlight, and this is my favorite highlight of all time. This is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. The Balm usually has, um, I want to say, two to three sales a year on their website where everything's like 50% off. So if you really want to get something from them, I would suggest waiting and getting that when it's on sale. And I think I'm going to go in with this little fluffy taper brush. Just grab a little bit, dab it off, and move my cheekbones with that. I really like this highlight because it's not glittery or chunky at all. It's just like a nice sheen and glow to the skin. You can always build it up to be more intense if you want to. And the highlight. And when I do a natural makeup, I don't typically do any eyeshadows, so I'm just going to take my pinky and highlight my inner corners. I'm going a little too much there. I'm going to take my sponge and try to fix it a little bit. There we go. And I'm also going to take a flat brush and highlight my brow bone. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit to highlight my cupid's bow. There we go. I put my hair down since we're done with the, the face. For blush, I'm going to be going in with the Milani. Um, baked blush in Dulce, Dulce Pink and it does have like a really nice sheen to it. I can open it. There you guys go. It's really nice. I'm taking my blush brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to apply a little bit. I love this blush because I like the little... I'm not much of a pink blush person but this one has a nice sheen to it and it can look pretty natural. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and I'm gonna be taking my I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is what I always use to to my eyebrows. And when I'm doing a natural makeup, I try I try to mainly just fill in my the end of my eyebrow, not my whole eyebrow, but I think it looks a little bit more natural that way. Okay, we're gonna do the other eyebrow. Cover my nose. I'm gonna do that other eyebrow. 
So I just filled in the tail ends of my eyebrows and I'm gonna set them in place with my Benefit Gimme Brow. Next I'm gonna be doing mascara and I'm gonna be using another mascara that I like from the bottom. It's What's Your Type Mascara. And this one is and Tall, Dark, and Handsome. They have like different names for them. This one's Tall, Dark, and Handsome. And it's getting a little bit dry and it kind of starts flaking on me a little bit. So I need to get a new one, but I really like it. So I'm gonna grow my lashes. This is what the brush looks like. And it's like a really bendy one, but it gives you a lot of length. And I like it for that. I'm getting a little crazy. Do the other eye. There we go, and now we just have lips left. And I'm gonna be going in with, I'm gonna be going in with my MAC Lip Liner in Dervish. And it's like a nice nude color. It's pretty much like your lips, but better. And my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I love this thing. Line my lips. And just apply the lip gloss. To finish everything off, I'm gonna spray my face with my Milani setting spray. My hair back and spray away. Let that dry. My hair is not out of control today. Make some you in. So this is what the my final look is for my everyday makeup. Pretty natural. I just pretty much cover up my circles. So. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.